all right so we have made the necessary changes to the main.py so now for this updated application we need to create a new docker image and then push that docker image to the docker hub and write that image uh, here right so let us go to command line but before that for us to use the docker we will have to configure our control panel to the necessary setting so that we can use the docker okay so uh, this might require the restarting your system so uh, make sure that all the necessary uh, changes are saved okay so now go to the control panel so uh, just type control panel in the windows uh, search bar then click on programs and turn windows features on and off just like previously now we could see this new uh, dialog box where we need to check these virtual machine platform and windows hypervisor platform so previously when we wanted to start minikube we have uh, unchecked these two we have disabled these two features now we have to enable these two and click on ok so we are doing these things because we want to use docker uh, and uh, create the image for our updated application and push that to docker hub okay so it is applying all the changes we have uh, enabled it might take some time all right so now uh, we are supposed to restart it. So I'm going to restart this now. Click on this restart now. So after restarting this uh, system, go to the command line and I'm going to the uh, project folder. Okay, then let us check uh, the Docker PS, which lists all the active uh, Docker containers. Okay, right now uh, there is no uh, active container running right now. Okay, so uh, when I did this Docker PS, I'm also checking if my Docker is in place right now. Okay, so it seems to be working fine. So now uh, if I just go to my Sublime Text Editor, I can see my Docker file here right so this docker file is what which we have uh, created in our previous project uh, while building this multi-container application uh, we have written this docker file so now we will be using the same docker file because the steps to create this image is not changed only we have made some code changes inside our application and we want that to be reflected and that is the reason we are uh, building this new docker image right but the steps to uh, create this docker image remains the same so we will use this uh, same docker file okay so let us go to the command line again so if you remember the uh, the command to build the docker image is docker build minus t which means the tag so the username of docker hub minus bagdevi k then the name of the image which we want to uh, use so i'm just using something like user wishlist k8s okay and then colon the tag which we want to uh, use so i'm just writing something like v1 okay and then space uh, period which means the docker file is present in the very current directory as of as uh, just as a user wishlist app so this means that the docker file is present in the current directory which is user wishlist app okay so the uh, docker build minus t which is the tag of the image which contains the username slash the name which we want to give to this image along with the version which is v1 and uh, dot indicates where is the docker file present okay so hit on enter so it shows that it is building the image right so sometimes this might take some time
all right so it seems to be done right now so let us check if this image is existing right now locally because we have just built it right now okay so to list the images in docker again just like we have discussed in the first project series of docker it is docker images okay so it shows uh this right this is the same thing which we have created right now with tag v1 the image id is this and it is created a minute ago with size this much okay so it is successfully created right now now that this uh, image is created now let us uh, proceed to push this image to docker hub okay so the uh, command to do that is docker push this image name with the version so it says push refers to repository docker.io vakdevik uh, this one right so it's uh, preparing to push it to the docker hub so it might take some time okay I'm just pausing the video uh, and uh, resume it once it is done. So now it's done. Let us go to the Docker Hub and check if it is actually done. And yes, so we can see this, right? User wish list gates. I'll just click on this. So it says last pushed two minutes ago. Okay. So the tag is V1 and the image name is this okay so we have uh, made changes to our main.py file of our application and uh, prepared the image docker image and pushed that to docker hub so now let us use this uh, name replace this with this okay so yeah so this is the image along with the tag we also need to give the tag v1 okay save it so uh, this is the image which we have uh, pushed recently and we are using the same here and i'm saving it so our web deployment file is ready next our aim is to fill in the uh, web service file okay so uh, just like we discussed previously a service is a kubernetes configuration uh, or a kubernetes component which is used to make these pods uh, reachable through a network right so we have created these uh, pods under this deployment but we also need to create the service and um, attach this service to these pods so that those pods will be reachable over a network right so uh, let us define this uh, service now so first of all we also we we need to define the api version very similarly to uh, the others so the api version colon v1 and then the next one is kind service okay and then metadata under metadata we will write we will write name okay we will have to give the name of the service which is web service nextly uh, the specifications so under the specifications, we will write uh, this, uh, like to which ports this service uh, should be connecting to and all, okay, spec. Selector. Component. wishlist app so this component is same as this right so whatever the component is for the labels of the pod we will be using the same here, here. okay so this is the label selector uh, uh, concept which we have discussed previously so, right so next we shall define the type of the service as cluster ip so if you remember we have used this cluster ip when we have used the uh, ingress um object of 
Kubernetes in the previous uh, projects, right? So we also have node port type using which we can expose a random uh, number or a dedicated number, which is about some 3,000, 30,000 or something. So using that, we can directly reach to that pod through this service if the service type is node pod. But if the type is cluster IP, we will have to use the ingress. So ingress is the Kubernetes object, which will be exposing um, uh, the application to the outside world via the ingress, not the services, right? So let us, uh, we will also configure that later. So let us first finish this. So after that, we have to define the ports. The port is 80. And the target port uh, to which it should forward is also 80. Okay. 